Okay, so now let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is go to our workspace. So I'm going to go to Finder, Documents, uh, React to YouTube, and open. Go go on your workspace, and right click and click New Terminal at Folder. So we can open a terminal here. If you don't have New Terminal at Folder, you can also open up your terminal and just CD into it. So you can do CD and then whatever your folders in my ones in documents so cd documents and then react youtube so cd react youtube and now to create our react app we can do mpx create react app and then the name of the application which is going to be expense tracker click enter and that should create the react project for you so as you can see the project was created so let's go ahead and open it in our code editor you can choose any code editor you like I use uh, Visual Studio code I like it more so go to your so go open the folder so my one is in documents and then react YouTube and expense tracker and I'll click open okay so before I explain these folders first thing we want to do is actually start the project let's run it so do npm start in your terminal so you can just uh, once uh, so you can open your terminal like this, or you can go up here terminal and then click new terminal. Uh, npm start and then click enter. And as you can see, I have an error because uh, some some people might get scared error, some people might not. So if you do get the error, create a file, call it .env. Over here, you'll be storing your environment variables. So do skip preflight check all capitals, and set that to true and then save it and run it again and now it should work so it's loading the page as you can see now react gives us this once you down once you create a project so let's just delete that code for now so we go to source app.js and this is the code for it so first let me explain these folders and files so we don't we need app.css this is going to be for styling the components app.test.js I'm not going to explain that and we don't need it index.css as well logo.svg and setup.test.js we can all delete all of these and uh, we're going to get some errors so that's because we are using index.css inside index.js so we need to delete that and also logo.svg is being used in app.js so we can remove that as well and it's also being used over here so now we're also getting some errors. No such file that redirectory. Oh, we can just uh, rerun the project. I think that'll fix it. Yeah, there we go. So the logo we did was this logo. That's why it just says logo. Okay, so these folders, uh, we have node modules. These are all the dependencies that React installed for us when we created the project. We have public, uh, all these files are just f uh, icons, images, and manifest.json. You can just store some data here, uh, JSON data. Index.html is going to be the main file that renders everything. So everything's going to be rendered inside index.html. Let me just show you. So in, in index.js, as you can see, we are doing react-dom.render, and we are and we are putting uh, our app component, which is app.js. We are importing it from dot slash app, and we are rendering everything inside document dot get element by id root, which is inside index.html. And as you can see, we have a div over here with the id of root. Everything is going to be put inside here when the project is rendered. 